Brothers IV Crazy from Video Aerial Systems. I'm Mark Ashton, M. Ashton, Operations Manager here at Video Aerial Systems. And what are we doing tonight? Uh, well, tonight it's a little after what, 9 p.m.? Yeah, maybe about um, 9.30, something like we're that. We're down here at the warehouse late doing a little bit of research. Um, we it never ends, does yeah, it? No. Uh, <laughs> we recently switched over from ABS to acrylic formers for our helicals and for our pepper boxes and crosshairs. Um, so looks a we lot want, better, doesn't it? Yeah, it absolutely does. It's a little better on our F wise as well. Yeah, so. I know. That was that was a big kicker for me. Yeah. So what we want to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to box some stuff up. Okay. Based on what you may order at home from a vendor, um, but we'll box up some stuff. We're going to do some drop testing, um, throw it across the room, and let's just see what it takes to break this stuff. You really have to break it? Yeah, I'm breaking it. It's 9.30, you drug me down here. I'm breaking it. Okay, fine, so we're breaking it tonight, guys. All right, uh, well, the first order, Mark, let's say our customer orders, let's make a three-turn helical. Three turn, three three turn, turn 1.3 gigahertz. gigahertz. What are we gonna get? I'm just gonna grab a helical off the shelf. Uh, you get your new, nice dark blue, three-turn helical built on acrylic here. Hand manufactured in the USA. Apparently now hand broken in the USA. Yeah. And we'll just stick that in that box. I've already lined the bottom of the box with a little bit of peanuts. Um, I'm just going to get a transmitter, transmitter receiver. receiver. Transmitter receiver. Um, stick this down here. They could probably get a They'll probably get some blue beam ultras. Blue beam ultras. Um, and that's probably maybe a dipole. Well, no, we'll, we'll skip the dipole for now. So let's figure out how we get this box in here. All right, and then what you got, basically, we just got them sat in there, about how you're going to expect to see it from a vendor. We hope. And then we'll top her off with some peanuts. And let's see. If I can make a mess? It always makes a mess. You gotta love them. All right, we'll grab so. our tape gun and we'll tape her up and see how she does. Um, see what happens. I'm pretty confident in that packing job. So uh, let's say uh, I'm, I'm lazy. Let's throw. Let's, uh, let's say if it was thrown off a truck, about what height would it drop from? I mean, it depends on the truck. We'll start with this typical FedEx truck. It's probably going to go about that far. That didn't break it. Uh, that, well, that I hope break it. it didn't break. No, no, no. It. Let's drop it on its head. Come on. There we go. That's a better drop. Okay. All right. Let's open. Looks like the helical shifted a little bit. Of course, it did. We did drop it twice. Once on its head. Yeah, okay, those aren't damaged. Uh, it's not damaged. There's no damage. No damage. So, um, so we got to drop it from higher. We we'll have to drop it from higher. Maybe throw it down. Hold on. Let's. We're gonna repack it exactly the same way. That way we're consistent. Okay, guys. We'll pack it again. All right, then. You do the honors. Is this upright this time? This is upright, just like we did before, and then we'll turn it over. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'll drop it from say. Let's say it came out of semi truck. Okay. And they just pulled up to the dock and didn't feel like pulling all the way up. Okay. Maybe he was a bad driver. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. So he's probably going to drop it from about here. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think that broke. I, I, it probably didn't, but... Um, okay, turn it over. No. Uh, I'm a really lazy driver. This might break it, guys. All right. All right. First thing... No box damage. No. None. Well, maybe a little where, you, where it landed on well, that corner. Just a teeny tiny, but you're not. Oh, fudge, I did it again. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Let's cut this thing open. Why don't you come on back over here, Alex, after tilting that hand. And let's, uh, let's do this a little easier. So let's, let's pour this in here just to make my life easier. All right, let's make this easier. Uh, that antenna looks pretty intact. It's we... probably intact. All right, here's your ultras. Of course, okay. they're fine. They're fine. It's just good. Uh, I'd say it's fine. Um, yeah, that, that's... Yeah. She's good. So, oh. I mean, that antenna's good. And, I mean, that was a good, you know, seven-foot drop. Okay. Um, upside down, on its side, on its corner, right side up. I don't and think it, we have survived. to break this one. That was a pretty good drop. That was a pretty good drop. I don't see anything wrong with this. Um, I would say the acrylic. You know, it's a hell of great. If you pack it properly, yeah, I'd say the acrylic held up pretty well. Um, so I think we're done with that. We'll move to the five turn. Let's move to the five turn. We're gonna go with that. One. Okay. 
Well, this is the, the metal case. Oh, that's right. No, they don't we have don't, anything We original. don't have any of the original. Okay. So, because we already know they didn't survive shit. Yeah, we know those didn't survive. So, that, that's why I'm paranoid. Yeah. So, we'll put this guy in here. Back with packaging peanuts. Back in with packaging peanuts. So, plenty of room on this box to make sure you got enough on the top. And then I'm going to add, just like before with the three turn, we're going to add a set of Blue Beam Ultras, a transmitter, and a receiver. Then we're going to go back with the exact same peanuts. So, I mean, realistically, these peanuts are going to take quite a beating. I don't know about this. This is uh, getting close to the, the top here. Do we lose a few? We must have. We must have lost a few. Let's get a few more peanuts in there. Weird. Yeah, I think we lost a few. Well, they probably compacted a little bit. Don't make too much. Alright, so there's the five turn. Boxed up, got packing peanuts all around it, a pair of ultras, transmitter and receiver. That's a, oh, that's because oh, that's that's we did a bigger box. That's right. Oh. We'll do the first drop, about waist height. Waist height. Typical, okay. typical Carried lazy off the truck. guy. Yeah. You know, hey. oh, lazy, but okay. Um, Okay. I'm sure that's fine. That, that didn't sound like it even had plumbing. Now, mind you, we're dropping this on a concrete floor. Yeah. Um, so take it up a little higher. Let's go about here. This is upside down now, right? Right, that's upside down. It's upside down? Yep. Nice little tumble. Let's cut it open, see what it does. It's all over the place. Yeah. Looks a little off center, but maybe we put it in there off center. Oops. We dumped out our ultras there. So there's the ultras, they look like they're still intact. Yeah, they're fine. And it held. It held. That means uh, big drop. It means right, a big so drop. So here it is, five turn helical, test two. Test two. All right, go ahead. All right, so I'm going to drop from a little higher, you know, um, about about five feet. I didn't, I didn't, I would think I, I would have heard a snap. Work. Yeah, you, I'm let, sure you hear that. Let's, uh, let's do about. Oh, a little go a little higher than that. Oh, this one is side now. This is a different. This is a different. Well, okay, fair enough. Um, and then okay, we'll just do a we'll higher upside down. Upside down. That now might that have... I think we might have got a break. And the reason I say that is because that antenna is actually touching the top of this. Box. Yeah. So the, so the antenna made a direct impact to the, the ground. The antenna didn't make a direct impact. That was a good drop. If anything broke it, that did. Well, the top is fine. Yeah. Somehow or another, we've lost peanuts. Again. Um. It's stuck, so it's that's stuck, good sign. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, so Blue Beam Ultras. Yeah, we yeah, obviously, we're fine. Obviously, we know they're good. That's probably okay. I'm sure that's fine. All right. So hey, that's transmitter. We did get a break. Oh, However, where did we get a snap? We got a break at the very top. Got a nice crack right here. Oh wow! Yeah. Nothing well, on the base. So, so that is the snap I heard. Okay, so yes. I did. I did manage to break it on that last drop. Correct. Now, again, that this antenna was touching the top of the box. Yeah. So it made. It, so we know. It made a crunch. It made a crunch because it came straight down like this. I mean, it, it landed virtually like this with only an eighth of an inch worth of uh, cardboard. Cardboard between, between it and a concrete floor. There, focus. There we go. Now we got some focus. So you got a crack here and a crack here, and you can see this, them both. This is kind of interesting. Talking about box damage, um, I don't know oh, if we did be able to see. It. You can see the damage on the inside, and actually, oh, it, it, did pop, it did pop through, which you wouldn't have seen. Um, Let's zoom in on it. Yeah, this is pretty neat to me, anyway. Um, there is actually an imprint of the antenna on the box. So the top of the antenna did make an imprint on the yeah. box. And even on this side, and it actually punched through, on this side. Punched through so, over there. So that's um, pretty And good. still the antenna, I mean, it was cracked the top, but it would still work. So it right. survived. It, it survived usable, but not perfect. So we're going to do so a drop test again. We're going to try this again with a different antenna, just because I, I think a we broken saw... one's right here, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's the broken one. That's the one we, so we're going to put a, a, what, about one layer, about half an inch, an inch of peanuts on top Roughly, of it. Roughly, that's the goal, yeah. We want to just make sure 
Um, simply because that antenna didn't get a fair shake. It was completely packaged in properly. Okay. So so we'll give this one a, be a better shake here. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually package it like it's supposed to go in. We'll see what it does. Um, we got your... And that's probably another about half inch there, and we'll have peanuts on it. So. Okay. That should be good. So there's peanuts we'll underneath. the same peanuts. exact peanuts again. Hopefully we haven't lost any this time. Yeah, so now, see, we got the whole antenna covered with peanuts here. So are we covered? Okay, so we actually have some padding this time. Not much. I can still see the antenna under there. Yeah, so but I think we're going to be... I think we're okay? Yeah, and that that's kind of the... Kind of my goal here, um, trying to figure out this on the packing side of it. Okay. So where that tape gun go? Right behind you. There. Oh. Okay, so this is this is the top, right? Correct. This is the top, and this is the new antenna. The broken antenna is sitting there. Okay. Um, so we're gonna try this again. We'll start. I'll drop it. I'll just go ahead and drop it on its base. Yeah, right. From roughly. That's almost eight. Seven feet. foot, seven inches, eight. Somewhere That's about 8 feet. It's touching the ceiling, man. It's right. 10 foot ceiling. So, okay. I think that just bounced. <laughs> I don't think it's broken. I think it's fine. I, I, I didn't hear a snap. Yeah. So, I, I guess I got to do this. Uh, what was the height I dropped it from? About here? Roughly there, yeah. Maybe a little higher. Okay, let's go a little higher. All right, there's a drop. There's the drop. Let's roll it over. You like that? Oh, not the box. Okay. <laughs> see, uh... All right, so we definitely took an impact here. Yeah, we, uh, um, you can see the, zoom in here a second, we took an impact, the packing peanut here is, is crushed. Yeah. So we did, we know we took an impact on the top. Okay. So that's a good, let's see what, what we wound up with. Well, we know we took an impact on the top, we, I dropped that pretty good. Yeah. I just dumped out the, uh, transmitter and see over there. Okay. Alright, so here's your blue beam ultra, we know they're good. So here's the antenna again, where it looks like we got the same results as the other testing with the base. I don't I believe I see think a crack. We're good. I don't see any cracks. We did jam some That's packing hard. peanuts down in there. Um, I don't see, I don't any, see any damage. Cracks, no damage. Can we get through that? Nothing. Nothing, nothing at going all. On. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, so we know properly packaged. It'll survive. It'll take an eight foot drop or six foot drop like basically concrete tossed. right and so we know that this will take it. 